Halleluja. Halleluja. Praise the Lord. Ja, dir sé Guði. Everybody is okay? Praise the Lord. Er, er allt í lagi? Með alla? Praise the Lord. Today is the last day of our Bible school teaching. Þetta er síðasti dagurinn í okkar kennslu. And by the grace of God, God moved in such a wonderful way and he revealed a lot of uh, truth from the word of God. Og Guð, hann hefur virkilega starfað á undursamlegan hátt og við um fengið að upplifa mikinn sannleika frá orði Guðs. And all these days uh, we are uh, preaching about the only prayer life. Og alla þessa daga þá höfum við bara verið að kenna um bæna lífið. But we are not missed our, our goal, praise the Lord. Og það er okkar takmark. And uh, today, uh, last day, uh, we, pre- uh, we shared about the revival. When I see that dag, uh, uh, kvöldi, þá tölum við um vakningu. We know many people told the world, uh, people want to see the revival. For that, they are going to America, Canada and many places. We know that there are many people who are going to see the revival in America, Canada and many other places. Yeah, um, even some years together, uh, uh, people are arranging a very big crusades in many, many places. Og í, í, á liðunum árum að þá hafa margir haft stórar og miklar samkomu herferðir á mörgum stöðum. And in that places uh, um, the people advertised and announced a lot of healings and lot of revival. Please come and participate. Og þá hafa menn auglýst uh, uh, vakningar samkomur, heilmikil vakning og það verða miklar lækningar, gjörðu svo og komið og takið þátt. For all these things they are spending more than some sometimes millions millions of dollars og oft er eitt alveg miljónum dollara í þessa hluti but uh, uh, sometimes we are not seeing the results of that uh, the real, the real uh, uh, fruit of that meeting oft að tíðum sjáum við ekki raunverulegan ávöxt af þessum samkomu i already told you again i want to remember that one og ég hef sagt ykkur að að ja ja ég myndi minna ykkur á það aftur and few years back uh, the great evangelist um, uh, Benny Hinn, he came to India. Fyrir nokkrum árum þá kom Benny Hinn til Indlands. In Bangalore. Og hann var í Bangalore. And he arranged a very big crusade. Og það var mjög stór, stóra samkomu. They, they announced how much money they spent in that crusade. Og þeir auglýstu hve miklum peningum var eitt í and, samkomu herfriðina. And how many people attended that crusade. Og hversu margir komu. And how much they used that, uh, the cable uh, wire the elect- for electricity og hversu mikið sem sagt ramas dót var notað and the, that cable wire long uh, almost all, more than 50 miles distance like og allt allir ramasvíratni sem voru notað voru meira en 50 mílur uh, that means they announced how much we are spending for the um, a lot of things for this crusade það þýtti það það var auglýst hvað þessi bara herfer kostaði more than 1000 1000 people attended og uh, fleiri þúsund manns uh, komu and after one year after eitt ár uh, one of the leader of that um, uh, the bangalore for that meetings að það var einn af þeim sem að voru leiðandi í þessum bangalore samkomum he came to my city hann kom í mína borg and we we meet we were two together a uh, 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 meeting together in one city og uh, hi- one meeting og við hittum saman á einni samkomu þar uh, in that meeting i asked that man of god Og á þeirri samkomu spurði ég þennan guðsmann. Sir, last year Benny Hinn came and they spent a lot of money and they arranged a big crusade. Herra, herra minn hérna, í Benny Hinn kom í fyrra til ykkar og það var mikil samkomu herferð og miklum peningum eitt. And they declared this is the biggest crusade in India. Og þeir sögðu, lýstu því yfir að þetta væri stæðsta samkomu herferð í Indlandi. And I asked that past after one year what is the result of that crusade. Og þeir spurðu þennan pastor, ég spurðu þennan pastor, Ári eftir þetta ár, hver er árangurinn af þessari herferð? What is the church growth of the crusade? Uh, for the hversu crusade? mikið hafa kirkjurnar vaxið eftir þessa herferð? But the pastor says very sadly. En hann sagði mjög uh, hryggur. And he said, oh, I'm sorry pastor, nothing. Hann sagði mér þykið að leitt uh, pastor ekkert. And after that lot of problems came in that state. Og eftir uh, þessa herferða þá var helmikið að vanda málum. And, and the government changed. Og það var skipt um ríkistjórn. And Hindu government came. Og það kom Hindu stjórn. They burned many churches. They, they burned many churches. Já, þeir brendu margar kirkjur. They killed some of the pastors. Uh, 
drápu marga fórstöðumenn. Still we don't have any police cases, nothing is there. Og samt sem áður að, að þá tekur lögreglan, gerir lögreglan ekkert í málum. Still the church growth is almost all coming down. Og það er eins og að samkomu vöxtur hafi bara farið niður Somet eða kirkju vöxtur. Já, sometimes waiting in, in certain places, really the, that is a great revival is there, we think like that. Stundum höldum við það að, að, að með slíkum uppákomum að þá fáum við mikla vakningu. But uh, today I want to tell you the wonderful secret of the revival. En í kvöld langa mig að segja ykkur hinn yndislega lendardóm vakningarinnar. See, you, you are not uh, run after the revival. Við hlaupum ekki á eftir vakningu. The revival come after you, praise the Lord. Vakningin yeah. kemur á eftir þér, dýrs í Guði. Many people are there running after revival. Oh, their revival, this, this here revival. Margir here. hlaupa þangað og hinga og segja drottin, hér er vakning, þar er vakning. But the revival will come after you, praise the Lord. En vakningin kemur á eftir þér, dýrs í Guði. But only one small key is there. Bara eitt pínu lítið líkir það. If you use that key, ef hún notar hann að líkir, immediately the revival will... will will come and run after you. A þá kemur vakningin og hún fylgir þér. That is the key is your obedience to the Lord. Það er líkillinn að hlýðni við drottin. For your small obedience. Fyrir litla hlýðni. The revival will come. A þá kemur vakningin. Before I am going to the word of God I want to share some experiences in my life. Á þú nýr förum minn í orgu sem þá langar með að miðla aðeins af sem sagt persónlegri reynslu. Uh, um, in the beginning of my ministry. Í upphafi minna þjónustu. I, I went to the jungle place the uh, deeper uh, forest area. Yeah. Þá fór ég út á óbyggðu svæðina inn í frumskóana. Uh, in that place uh, uh, almost all uh, many tribal villages are there. Og þarna voru mörg eyðibýli, nei, eða svona, nei, strjábyggð, hérna, lítil þorp. My church, they gave me more than 15 villages for me to go and preach the word of God. Og kirkjan mín, hún sendi mig til að predika til 50 þorpa. That is my responsibility. Það var á minni ábyrð. And that time, I am just only 21 years old. Og á þessum tíma var ég bara 21 sárs. And in that area, no electricity. Og á þessum, þessu svæði var ekki drama. And we don't have any even small bicycles also. Og... No bicycle also. Ja, engin, engin reyðhjól heldur. Because the bicycles also cannot go to that places. Og vegna þess að... Uh, bicycles also cannot go. Ja, uh, ég hafði ekki einu sinni reyðhjól til að ferðast. There is no road set all in that place. Uh, engin uh, umferðamerki. But when I was in my room one night, one night okay, when I no was... Okay, no road in, signal, you no, said that. No, not signal. Even there is no road set all. Ja, engir vegir. No yeah. roads, nothing is Engir there. Vegir. Okay. Uh, according to our own way, we can yeah, go yeah, to yeah, the yeah, villages. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, one day, uh, one, one evening, I was in my room. Og eitt kvöld, þá lá ég fyrir upp í rúmi. And that night, I have to go to one village for the meeting. Og uh, þetta kvöld ætla ég að fara í Þorpeitt til að halda samkom. The rain started. Og rigningin byrjaði. But it is very difficult to go to that place. And so very difficult to go to mjög that place. Fara á stað. And if I, if I want to go there, I have to uh, uh, um, uh, climb two small mountains. Og til þess að komast þangað þá þetta ég fara yfir tvö svona lítil fjöll. And I prayed, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord, this week I, do, I cannot go, Lord, next week I'll go. <laughs> Og ég bað drottin, mér þykir það leitt, ég kemst ekki núna, ég skal fara í næstu viku. But God told me, no. Right now you must go, take your Bible and go, God told and me like that. And God said, no, you now have to go and take your Bible and go and go. Outside is a lot of rain is there. Og drottin það er heilmikið rigning. And I have to cross the small river also. Og ég þarf að fara yfir litla á einning. And that time, almost all time is evening 5.30. Og klukkan er orðin 5.30. Within one hour the light will go and darkness will come. Og eftir eina klukkustunda þá er orðið dim. Uh, to go to that place means I, I have to walk ni, uh, more than two and a half hours, maybe three hours. Og til þess að komast á þennar stað þá þarf ég að ganga tvær til þrjár klukkustunda. That is very difficult, Lord. Og þetta er mjög erfitt, Drottin. I prayed, Lord, why? This is very difficult, Lord. Drottin, af hverju er þetta svona erfitt? And God told me, you go, that's enough. Guðs að þú ferð. If you obey to me, then you will see the revival. Ef þú hlýðir mér, þá færð að sjá vakninguna. Because every time I used to pray for revival. 
Because when I born again in the beginning days, after I yeah franchised on in my spiritual father he bought lot of books about that revival, revival, revival uh, um, um, the Evan Roberts and yeah, yeah. a lot of revivalists. Uh, like, uh, yeah. uh, father, han alveg bókum um Evan Roberts og fleiri. Every day I used to read those books. Og á hverjum degi var ég að lesa þessa bækur. In my mind all the time revival, revival. revival. And that is the reason God told me also the time if you obey to my voice you will see the revival. And I said to my Lord sometimes you are very different Lord. Og ég sagði að stundum drottin að þá ertu mjög bara skrítið. Every time you said you listen to me only. Og alltaf þá segir þú bara ef þú hlustar á mig. But you are not listen to me. En þú hlustar ekki, þú hlustar ekki á mig. You are not seeing any circumstances. Og þú lítur ekki á neinar kringumstæði. Then I took my Bible. Svo tók ég Bibliuna. I hold my torchlight. Og ég var með vasaljósið. Then I started going. Og svo fór ég að stað. And in the rain I took small umbrella also. Og small umbrella. Já, og ég var með svona litla reglíf. And then I started walking. Og svo byrjaði að ganga. In mid, in on the mid, uh, uh, middle of the way, several times I, I was falling. Oh, uh, yeah, all my dresses, all my body completely mud. Oh, yeah, I was falling. 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 Oh, yeah, I was fall En einhvern veginn að þá komst ég áfanga stað um tíu, um klukkan tíu um kvöldið og ég kallaði fólki saman. In that village is only one family they came to the Lord. Og í þessu torpi þá var bara ein fjölskylda sem kom til drottins. And what wife and husband was there? Og það var eiginmaður og eiginkona þar. Their children, they are studying in high school in the city. Og börnin þeirra þau voru við nám í borginni. And when I when they opened the door, they looked at me with mud and everything. They said, "Are you crazy?" Or there they opened the door, and they let you out. Come in, I'm going to show you where to be allowed. Why you came? Why why are you coming? This is rainy there. Is it raining in or? Very dangerous. This is very dangerous place. Or that they're high to let try this. Sometimes animals also are there. Snakes also are there. Stundum eru líka alls konar orkadýr þar. And why you came? Why you came? Why are you coming? I said God told me to come here. Say God said me to come here. And the man said, "You pastor, all the time you are telling like that." Oh, Connor said. Þú pastor alltaf talar um svona. Then I went to my bathroom and I cleaned myself and I came inside. Og svo fekk ég að fara á snyrtinguna og þreif mig og kom síðan aftur inn. That time almost a 11 o'clock night. Og nú var klukkan orðin næstum því 11. I called them, can you come for prayer? Og ég kallaði að þú getið komið að byrja. And when they came to prayer, og þegar þau komu, við komu saman til að byrja. And their two daughters also, they came to that prayer. Og dætur þeirra tvær komu einni á bænastundina. They came to me, praise the Lord, pastor, they said like that. Og þær komu og sögðu dýrsi guði, pastor. And I said, when you came? Og ég sagði, hvenna komu þið? They said, this morning we came. Við komum í morgun. And God told me immediately. Og guð sagði samstundis við mig. For them I call you to come here. Fyrir þær, ég kallaði á þig, eða sem þess kallaði til að koma hinga þeirra vegna. That night I preached the word very few minutes. Og þetta kvöld predikaði bara fá einar mínútur. And after the preaching. Og eftir predikunna. In that small heart. Small house. Í þessum litla kofa. The Holy Spirit moved. Að þá starfaði heila úr andi. And the two girls completely confessed their sins and they started praying and weeping. Og þessar tvær ungu stúlkur játuðu sindi sínar og byrjaði að gráta og byrja. And we are unable to control them. Og við gátum bara ekki haldið aftur að. And one girl she cried a lot. Og önnur stúlkan hún hrópaði drottin. God forgive me. Drottin fyrirgeðum. I'm a sinner Lord. Ég sindar í drottin. She prayed like that. Hún bað svona. And God told me because of these two girls I call you to come this place. Og Guð sagði vegna þessara tvekja stúlkna kallaði ég þig. See if we were bad to the Lord. Sjáði ef við 
hlýðum drottni Jú, we can see the revival þá fáum við að sjá vakningu revival is not far away in different different places vakningin er ekki langt í burtu á, á mismunandi stöðum you need not searching for revival þú þarft ekki að leita vakningu just hear the voice of the lord hlustaðu bara á röstu guðs give you give your ears to the lord gefðu eyruð þín drottni and if god says anything og ef að guð segir eitthvað immediately we we'll bet to the lord of god lord Hlýttu þá samstundis. That's enough. Það er nóg. The immediately the revival will come after you. Praise the Lord. How came awakening to thee? Many people doesn't know this one. Many people doesn't know this one. Mart folk bara hefur ekki hugmynd um þetta. See the word the church the church at the born again person has to prepare the way for the Holy Spirit. Eh uh, kirkjan the church at the born again person has to prepare the way for the holy spirit. Ja, kirkjan eða hin endurfæddja fætti maður þarf að undirbúa leiðina fyrir heilagan anda. John the Baptist he prepared the way for Jesus Christ. Jóhannes skírari hann uh, undirbjó leiðina fyrir Jesum Krist. The same way God appointed church or born again person to prepare the way for the holy spirit. Á sama hátt hefur Guð kallað kirkjuna og hin endurfætta mann til að að leggja veginn fyrir hinn heilaga anda. For the prepare the way is the only thing is your obedience, praise the Lord. Og til þess að undirbúa leiðina er bara þín hlýðinni. Holy Spirit is not asking anything from you. Heilagur andi er ekki að biðja um neitt. Only neim. is your obedience. Bara þína hlýðinni. See, when you, prepare, when you open the way, þegar þú opnar leiðina, the Holy, Holy Spirit will come. Þá kemur heilagur andi. At the same time for revival, don't use your brain. Og sama hátt fyrir vakningu ekki nota heilan. See your dates, uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit cannot uh, take your dates. Dates means, you know the date, maybe fourth, fifth, sixth letter, dates, no. D-A-T-E. Date? Dates, the Holy Spirit may not use your dates. Já, heila úr andi nota kannski ekki þinn tíma. And uh, he, he may not take your timings. Og, já, hann, hann, hann er ekki alltaf upp á... Hann fer ekki eftir þinni tímatöflu. There is no perfect timing for the revival. Og það er engin uh, fullkomin tímasetning fyrir vakningu. Because the revival is already designed by God. Vegna þess að vakningin hún er hönnuð af Guði. And the time and the dates and everything are already designed. Og tímin og allt saman það er þegar hannað. The only thing is just you obey to the word of God. Og bara það sem þú þarft að gera er að hlýða orði Guðs. So please open your Bible, book of Acts, 9th chapter, 11th verse says... Opnum Bibliuna i Postola Sjöni. Book, uh, uh, Book of Acts, 9th chapter, verse number 11. Postola Sagan 19. 9. Postola Sagan 9, verse 11. Number 11. So the Lord said to him, Og drottin sagði við hann, Arise and go to the street called Straight. Uh, book of Acts, Postur Sagan 9, 12. 9th chapter, verse number 11. 11. Drottin sagði við hann far þegar í stræti það sem kallað er hið beina. And in, inquired at the house of Judas for Og one called Saul of Tarsus. Í húsi Júdas að skaltu spyrja eftir manni frá Tarsus sem heitir Saul. For behold, he is praying. Hann er að byrja. And the 13 verse says, Og 13, 13, 13 verse. verse segir. Then Anania answered, Ananías svaraði. Lord, I have heard from many about this man. Drottin, ég hef heyrt marga segja frá þessum Here manni. we can see the 11 and 13 between God and Ananías, the, the wonderful conversation. Hérna sjáum við þetta bara undursamlega samtal sem Drottin og Ananías áttu. God said, go to that street, uh, the street uh, uh, called straight. Guð sagði, farðu í a- þessa götu, í þessa götu sem kallast hinn beina. But Ananias is telling about that story about that uh, uh, previous story about the Saul to God. Ananias spyrja að segja Guð er sögun af Sáli. See several times we are also the same. Og oft af tíðum erum við alveg eins. When God is telling to you something so go and meet the person. Þegar að Guð er að segja þér að fara og hitta einhvern. And immediately you will tell oh he is not listening to word of God. Og þá segir þú samt þú oh hann hlustar ekki. He is not he is not, he is not correct person Lord. Ha þetta er ekki rétti manna. This hörmanns. is not the right time Lord. Og þetta er ekki rétti tíminn drottin. See the same way we are also are talking with the Lord. Sjá við erum alveg eins þegar við tölum við drottin. But that time Ananias completely obeyed to the Lord. En í þetta skipti 
nýtið Ananías drottni fullkomlega. That is the reason through his obedience. Það er vegna hlýðni hans. Such a wonderful man of God came and God presented that man in this world. Að að þessi sem sagt stórkostlegi Guðs maður fætt uh, kom síðar fram og fórum heiminn. See this is very important. Þetta er mjög mikilvægt. The, uh, please open your another another verse also for Samuel. Og Samuel spoken and 16th verse chapter Fyrir Samuel spoke first to Samuel 16 1 verse number 1 uh, 16th kafli vers 1 Fyrir Samuel spoke 16 vers 1 Now the Lord said to Samuel Drottin sagði við Samuel How long will you a uh, mourn for so for Saul Hversu lengi ætlar að vera sorgmættur út af Saul Seeing I have rejected him from a uh, uh, re reigning over Israel Þar sem ég þó hafnað honum og sift hann konungdóm og And he said fill your horn with oil Fill to horn til to olíu and go og legg af stað I'm sending you to Jesse the Bethlehemite Ég sendi þig til Ísa í Bethlehemita for I have provided myself a king among his sons Því að ég hef kjöri mér konung með sona hans Here the God very clearly said to Samuel Here segir Guð mjög skýrt til Samuel How long will you mourn for Saul? Þessu lengi ætlar að vera sorgmætt út af Saul And the word of God says very clearly Orðið segir mjög skýrt Fill your horn with oil Fylltu hortit með olíu And go Og farðu See here God said wonderful word Here segir Guð bara undursamlega orð Fill with oil Fylltu hortni með olíu That is the New Testament oil is our holy spill full of the Holy Spirit Þetta er Nýja Testamentis olía, olía heila sanda Just fill with the Holy Spirit Fullt af heilu og manda The word of God says full of Holy Spirit Amen Orðið segir fullur af heilu og manda The Stephen all the time full of Holy Spirit Ég kenni það allan tíman fullur af heilu og manda Barnabas all the time full of Holy Spirit Barnabas og Saul voru fullur af heilu og manda That is the reason they are seeing in their ministry unusual miracles Það er ástæðan fyrir þeir sá í sinni þjónustu that is the reason in their ministry they are seeing lot of people came to the Lord and accepted Jesus Christ. People doesn't have this experience nowadays in the church. That is a very sad thing. That is the reason church is always sleeping. In church our pillars are like pillows. The word says all the church elders are pillars. Church elders are pillars. Já, orðið segir okkur að að öldungarnir séu stólpar. And if you ask what about your pillars, what about your pillars? Og ef við spyrjum hvað með stólpana? At present they became pillows. Já, á enskunni hljómar þetta aðeins öðruvísi, það eru Pillos og pillos. But the word of God says fill with oil. En orði segir fullur af olíu. Time is very near dear brethren and sisters. Og tíminn er í nánd. He is coming soon. Hann kemur skjótt. He is coming soon. Hann kemur skjótt. We are seeing a lot of the last days prophecies. Við sjáum marga af sem sem spátómum síðustu tíma. We are seeing a lot of earthquakes. Við erum að sjá jarðskjálta. We are seeing a lot of terrorism is go on and occupy this land. Og mikið að hryðjuverkum út um heiminn. In India we are seeing a lot of the evil of the spirits working among the young people. Og mikið að illum öndum meðal unga fólksins í Indlandi. Because we are in the last days. Vegna þess að við erum á hennu síðustu tög. Again the Holy Spirit is requesting you. Og heila úr andi er að tala til því. Please fyrir. Full of Holy Spirit, be full of Holy Spirit. Vertu fullt, vertu fullur af heilu og mann. And work for the Lord. Og þú skal starfa fyrir drótt. If obedience is very important. Hlýðinin er mjög mikilvæg. When we obey to the Lord. Þegar við hlýðið drótni. Then we can see the greater things in our lives. Þá fáum að sjá meiri hluti gerast. And another word book of Acts, fourth chapter. Og í annað orð í fjórða kapla postula sögunar. Book of Acts, fourth chapter, 30 and 31. Fjórði kafli postula sögunar, vers 30 og 31. 30 and 31 verses. And when they had prayed, þegar þeir höfðu beðið fyrir, the place where they were assembled together was shaken. Hrærði staðurinn þar sem þeir voru saman komnir. And 
they were all filled with the holy spirit og þeir fylltust allir heilugum anda and they spoke the word of god og töluðu orð guðs with boldness af djörfum i tell you see when when you got that the spirit of obedience in your life þegar þú hefur anda hlýðni í lífi þínu and you will get the boldness að þá færðu þessa djörfum no fear at all engin ótti when i was traveling by train Þegar ég var að traveling by traveling by train að að ferðast með train eh ja ja lest there uh, <laughs> my train here yeah, no train is yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, in my in front of my seat one um, a hindu priest was there að þá var hindu a prestur í sætinu fyrir framan mig the whole night we have to travel og við ferðumst alla nóttina and that, that man he asked me what you are doing Og hann spurði mig hvað ég var að gera. And his dress completely Hindu priest dress. Og hann var í svona Hindu a press clothes. He put very big dots here. Ah. Big dot here. Og var með málaður hérna. And he completely shave all his head. Og hann var uh, huldi höfuð sitt. Only here only small hair is there. Ja bara lítið hár hérna aftan hann var krúnraka. And his dress completely different dress. Og uh, klæðin mjög sérstök and uh, every time is uh, uh, just uh, um, uh, telling uh, uh, the uh, the words of the, their uh, books mantra well, mantra orði sem sagt boka sinna that those are not tongues ekki <laughs> ekki tungur but that there are um, yeah. like that han var hva köllum við að tann yeah and uh, uh, he looked at mantra. me <laughs> mantras yes they called as yeah, mantra. uh, mantras yeah. <laughs> maybe the hindu priest words <laughs> they call them yostra yeah <laughs> and um, that man he, uh, after some time he asked me og eftir nokkra stund þá spurði hann mig what are you doing hvað ertu að gera i said i'm a pastor you're a pastor are you a christian are you christian i said i am a christian yeah and immediately if if is put his face in different way and he turned himself oh andli dan svona tha böglaði staði svo han sneri sig fram mér and uh, after that he started to speaking his, his own words og eftir það fór hann að tala sínu eigin máli i look at that man og ég horfði á þennan mann and i am also just kneeling on my bed og ég bara svona hallaði mér aftur i started speaking in tongues og byrjaði að tala í tungum i, I look at that man og ég horfði á þennan mann an rababa shidara rikara kunda rababa kara <laughs> i said to that man <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me what are you are talking and <laughs> later me what is he talking i'm talking with my god you are talking with god talking with your god i talking with god yes i talking with my god you are talking with god where is your god far is god you never see my god i said like that have you ever seen my god but are you seeing your god have you seen thing i said i'm seeing my god uh, yes i'm seeing my god you are seeing my god there the reason i'm talking with him that's why i talk with him oh, again i'm talking to baba shida rakandara radara <laughs> See sometimes you know we need wisdom stundum þurfum við visku to reach the people til að ná til fólks that is the reason in the beginning the holy spirit says að er ástæðan fyrir að í upphafi sagði heila úr andi full of wisdom fullur af visku full of holy spirit fullur af heila og manda and full of faith og fullur af trú these three characters are very important in the church þessi trú einkenni eru mjög eh, mikilvæg í kirkjunni in india if you doesn't have any wisdom í indlandi og hefur enga visku we cannot reach people þá getum við ekki ná til fólks because very difficult to reach mjög erfitt að ná til fólks if you say we are christians ef við segjum að við séum kristin they think they are low caste people að þá halda þeir að við séum svona lágstétta fólk the christians are completely untouchable I, untouchable said again they Christians think Christians are okay. untouchable yeah, yeah okay back back up a little they oh. think you are low caste yeah low caste yeah because when I'm, when i'm declare i'm a yeah. christian then you are low caste low caste okay ja hann sagði þetta rétt ef þú ef þú segist vera kristinn þá er litið niður á að þú ert lægsta stétti and one day one man asked me what are your caste og dan okkur spurði af hvað af hvað þjóðfélag stétt ert þú i said i'm high caste ég er ég er af aðalsættum But you said you are a Christian. And who says you are a Christian? I said I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Ég er að sem sagt að aðalsmaður og ég er Kristi. Because my 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 God is a king of kings. Guð minn er konungur konunganna. I belongs to king caste. Og ég er sem sagt af konunga 
uh, as partners. S sometimes, you know, they, are, they will not give a chance to talk to us. Uh, talk to us. They will not give a chance to talk But we have to occupy that one. That is the reason we need a lot of wisdom. Sometimes they will come and they will beat you also. For that also we must be ready. <laughs> we have to bear that beatings. At the same time, we have to ready to talk with the people also. Revival means it's not an easy thing. But revival, behind the revival, a lot of dedication and commitment is there. But many people doesn't know that one. They think all the time they are watching teachings. Uh, and they are talking about this pastor and that pastor and this and that talking. Most of the time they are wasting like that. Oh, they're uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, either team and me corner mass. But see. Better you give the most of the time to the Lord. Amen. And God will reveal such an excellent truth. Amen. You, you can, sometimes we can watch the teachings, no problem at all. Sometimes you can read some other books, no problem at all. But don't give more time for those things. If you give more time with the word I will give a merit me or this and the, the word of God will reveal a lot of things praise the Lord or the open pair up a first of root see the, the knowing the word of God is different I'll take your goods here eight knowing God is different or that you could there Anna and word of God is God no problem praise the Lord or goes it good but at the same time when you are be with the word of God and our summer team out there are the earth you are you are you are be be with the word of God. And you are knowing more and more with the word what is the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the only I can explain. Hallelujah. Language. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. And next you know why so-called revival revivals failed. Uh, sometimes we think this is a wonderful revivalist. In, in India also people called the great, uh, the name is there, the great revivalist. But I think... Uh, Holy Spirit is the only revivalist. Is the only and person who is a We are the only tools in, in the hands of the Holy Spirit. And now, see, here I want to uh, almost all work out for the revival, for the revivals. Uh, after revival begins, many men of God implement their own plans in those meetings. After a vaknin period, a thou coma marker goes men med sinar eyin awatlaner in her samkom. I also attended some revivals in in America. Yev shocked vaknin kar samkomri bandari kyonum. At that time, they called me. They, and they, they, they gave me a special play uh, 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 for pastor's place. They gave me a special play for pastor's place. I was in that place. Uh, I was in that place. The time that that lady Suzette, the, she she is one of the um, uh, 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 topmost uh, uh, speaker in uh, Reinhard Bonke's ministries. Yeah, Suzette Hunter, she was the speaker in that meeting. After after preaching, after and they called all the pastors to stand there before the altar. And after that they called everybody. And they said, whenever people are coming to you, then you lay your hands and you pray for them. And that, that is the first time I don't know anything about that place. But I think here the revival is going on here. I think like that. Then I, then I stood there. I'm ready to pray for the people. When I uh, when people are coming, when I lay my hands upon them, they started falling. 
That is the first time I got that experience. Það er í fyrsta skipti sem ég upplifði það. Wow, this is wonderful. Wow, þetta er þetta er bara stórkostlegt. Then I started a little bit go front like that. Og síðan little bit move front. Og svo byrjaði ég svona ganga fram. Then I lay my hands. Og svo lagði ég hendur mínar. And people are falling. Og fólk féll af stað. Then I walking up to that long the, the, that that place I was walking and I laid my hands upon the people. Og svo gekk ég um staðinn og lagði hendur yfir fólk. Many people they they falling. Og mar, margir féllu. And that night I went to my room. Og þetta kvöld fór ég í herbergi mitt. Then I prayed. Og ég bað. Lord, this is wonderful place. Og ég sendi rottin þetta dásamlegu staður. Yeah, this is revival. Þetta er vakning. Because I lay my hands upon the people they fallen. Að ég lagði hendur yfir fólk þá fjallar. This is the first time in my life. Þetta er fyrsta skipt í lífi mitt. I feel very different. Og ég er með leið bara mjög öðruvísi. That my walking is different. Oh, he can't go through this. And I telephone to my wife. Where I lay my hands. Oh, people are falling here. Yeah, he the corner. Me no say. There he lay the hand through the folk to fight the others. The next day, I went again the meeting. Next day, for the after the sanctuary. The time the baptisms were there. Oh, baptisms were there. Oh, that was since the skirt. One la one lady she took the baptism. And corner took skirt. And she gave her testimony. Oh, hunka witness bird. This is my seventh baptism. Þetta er í sjöunda skipti sem ég tek skýrð. Æ, hvað er það sem er það sem er það? Sjöunda skýrðnin. See, sometimes, stund, sometimes people are very emotional. Stundum er fólk mjög svona tilfinninga þrungið. Emotional is different. Og að vera, sem fullur að tilfinningum er eitt. The revival is different. Vakning er annað. Revival is not a tele emotional. Eh, vakning er ekki bara tilfinningasemi. Revival from Holy Spirit. Vakning af heilugum anda. Emotional from men. Eh, vakning er af heilugum anda, tilfinningaflæði frá mönnum. And after that, eftir það, uh, the lot of uh, controversy came between the leaders. Að þá uh, reis upp uh, þarna, uh, sem sagt, uh, ha, misklíð milli leiðtóa. And uh, who is one of the... Uh, 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 top person in that in that meeting in the in the in that batch uh, i know that man man and he wrote a letter to me han skrifaði mér bréf i'm so confused og hann sagði ég er svo ég er svo ráðvilltur about this revival um þessa vakningu in the beginning days as are very good eh upphafsdagarnir voru mjög góðir but now i'm so confused en nú er ég svo ráðvilltur what is the answer is this hvað er svarið please help me hjálpaðu mér then i meditated the word again In, the, my, in yeah. India, I met at the world. Og í Indlandi að þá fór ég að skoða orðið. Then I came to one understanding. Síðan uh, komst ég að niðurstöðu. Revival is totally different man's, man's, man's emotionals. Uh, man's emotionals, yeah. revival is totally different. Já, uh, tilfinningalíf manna og vakning er bara tvendt. See, I want to show you on uh, as another reference here. Og mér langar að sína ykkur hérna annað hér. The God's thought and man's thought. Guðs upphaf og manns upphaf. Uh, Matthew 17th chapter. Matthew 17th kapli. Matthew 17th chapter first verse. Fyrsta vers. Matthew 17 vers 1. See 17:1. Now after 6 days after 6 daga Jesus took Peter, James and John his brother Tekur Jesus með sér þá Pétur og Jakob. Let them upon uh, upon a high mountain by themselves. Og Jóhannes og fer með þá upp á hátt fjall. And he was transfigured before them. Þar ummyndaðist hann fyrir augum þeirra. His þeirra. face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Ásjóna hans skein sem sól og klæði hans urðu björt eins og ljós. And behold Moses and Elijah appeared to og them. Og Mósi og Elía birtust þeim. Talking with the, talking with him. Og voru þeir á tali við hann. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus. Þetta tók til máls og sagði við Lord it is good for us to be here. Herra gott er að við er, erum hér. If you wish. Ef þú vilt. Let us make here three tabernacles. Skal ég gera þrjár tjaldbúðir. One for you. Eina fyrir þér one, eina. One for Moses. Mose eina. And one for Eliza. Og Elia eina. And the word five says. 
Och medan han var och tala. While he was still speaking, behold, speaking. Medan han var och tala. Behold, a bright cloud overshadowed of the cloud, saying. Skiget i det här This is my beloved son. Och rätt och skiget nu säger det här som min älskade son. In whom I am well pleased. Som jag har väl tog nu nu. Hear him. Lidet av han. Here we can see the wonderful thing. Här ser vi bara storkostliga lutter. And the three men of God. Det är tre Guds män. When they look at Jesus. Det är lite av Jesu. They saw his transfiguration. Transfiguration. And the Moses came. Och dyrden kom. And Elisa also came. Och och Moses kom och Elia kom. And uh, uh, that Peter and John and other brother, both three are, they are watching this tree. Og Pétur og hinni bræðinu voru að horfa á þessa þrjá. See again, I'm telling you. On the, on the top of the mountain. Að upp á fjallinu. Jesus completely transfigured. Að þá umbreytist Jesu. And the word says his clothes completely became a white as the light. Og klæði hans ummynduðust og urðu eins og ljósið. His face shone like the sun. Og an, andlit ásjóna hans ljómaði eins og sólin. When these men three, they saw those three people. Og þegar að... These, these disciples, já, when the disciples já. saw those three. Já. Jesus, Moses and Eliza. Okay. When they saw them. The other disciples. Yeah, já. only, ah, já. three disciples. Because the three, three disciples, disciples watched the three disciples watched themselves. Or were there other disciples watching? No, no, no. Because here God took only three disciples. Yeah. God took yeah. the mountain and three disciples. Saw, ah. yeah. When they saw Moses and Eliza and Jesus. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Now I got you. Here they saw Moses, Elia, and Jesus. And see, uh, immediately they did not say praise God. But they said they are thinking about the tabernacles. <laughs> they want to build the tabernacles. If they build the tabernacles, Moses will be here. And Eliza will be here. <laughs> no problem at all. We can invite more people. And we can show them. It's wonderful. But the word of God says, hear him. The word says, please. Number verse number five says. Or the verse five says. This is my beloved son. Rut komuski no sa fester min elskade son. In whom I am well pleased. Jeg hef vel þóknun á. Hear him. Hlýðið á hann. Give to your ear to him. Gefið þið eyru ykkar hon. The same way. Á sama hátt. In wherever that the, the Holy Spirit moved, immediately this men of God will come. And they started putting their tabernacles there. And they will call the, all the, to, the broadcasting people. And they will bring all the latest good cameras. And they will put their dates. Og þeir setja upp dagsetningar. They will continue the dates. Og þeir halda áfram. Come, 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 come. Segja, komi, 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 komi. And one day one man, he telephoned to those people. Og David hringti maður nokkur í þetta fólk. Yes, pastor, I heard about that revival there. I want to come to your place. Pastor, ég heyrði um þessa vakningu hjá þér, ég vil koma. He said, wonderful. Hann sagði, undursamlega. Please contact to so-and-so airlines. Hafðu samband við þetta flugfélag. Because that airlines and these people got a link up is there. Vegna þess að það var linkur þarna milli þeirra See, when the revival comes Þegar að vakningin kemur Immediately many men of God's minds completely corrupted Þá er eins og spilling komi inn í hjörtu manna They think about money Þeir hugsa um peninga They think about public personality Þeir hugsa um sem sagt Public personality Já, bara Tilla Showing themselves to others Já and uh, they think about uh, broadcasting and all those things. They want to show themselves to the world. That is the reason they failed. See, please uh, open book of Judges from the Bible. Book of Judges. 16th chapter. Judges 16. Verse number 19. Verse number 19. Then she lured him 
to sleep on her knees. En hún svæfði hann á skauti sínu. And called for a man and uh, had him shave off the uh, seven locks of his uh, head. Og kallaði á mann og lét hann skera hárlokkana sjö af höfði honum. Then she began to torment him. Hún tók að þjá hann. And his strength left him. En afl hans var frá honum horfið. Here we can see the wonderful man of God Samson. Hér sjáum við þennan mikla guðsmann Samson. Such a mighty man of God. Mikill guðsmaður. And several times the Holy Spirit came upon him. Oft af tíðum hafði heila og randi komið yfir hann. But this man of God. En þessi guðsmaður. Every time whenever that anointing comes. Í hvers skipti sem þessi smurning kom. He done greater things. Að þá hafði hann gert meiri hluti. And after that he went back to different places. Og eftir að fór hann tilbaka á aðra staði. The word says 19th very clearly. Orðið segir mjög greinilega. Then she looked him to sleep on her knees að hún svæfði hann á skauti sínu that is completely against the Holy Spirit work against the God's God's thought þetta er algjörlega á móti verki heila sanda but such a anointed man of God að slíkur smurður Guðs maður he chooses that place að hann valdi þennan stað that's not the right place for the man of God þetta var ekki rétt í staðurinn fyrir mann Guðs the same way many lot of men of God nowadays á sama hátt að margir Guðs menn nótu when God used them mightily að þegar Guð nótar það á stórkostlegan hátt when that anointing came upon them powerfully when God done wonderful miracles and wonders in their ministry many men of God they turn their mind towards money and public personality and richness and other things that is the reason the word of God says very clearly she began to torment him hún byrjaði að þjá hann and his strength left him the word says og hans styrkur var farin frá honum that is the reason the Holy Spirit left those people það er ástæðan fyrir því að heila og randi yfir and 20th verse says and he and she said hún sagði the Philistines are upon you Samson Philistar eru komnir yfir því Samson so he woke from his sleep þá vaknaði hann af svefninum and said og hugsaði I will go out as before ég vil slepp í þetta sinn at other times sem hinn fyrri and shake myself free og slít mig lausa but he did not know en hann vissi ekki that the Lord had deported from him að drottin var vikin frá honum the word says very clearly orði segi mjög greinilega the Samson says a mighty man of God did not know how when God deported him að Samson þessi mikli Guðs maður gerði sér ekki greinn fyrir því að Guð hafði yfirgefið because this man completely he lost his anointing vegna þess að hann misti smurninguna sín algjörlega the same way nowadays many people are they lost losing their thoughts and they're losing their anointing. Margir guðsmenn í dag þeir hafa mist sína smurning. But the word of God says but he did not know that the Lord had deported from him. We are seeing many men of God nowadays. Please pray for them. Please don't talk more and more against them. Ekki Don't talk more and more against them. Ekki tala á móti þeim með um þá. But they are men of God. Þeir eru Guðs menn. They are mighty people. Þeir eru máttugir menn. When Samson received his mighty again, mighty again. Þegar Samson fekk aftur kraft sinn. He break the pillars, praise the Lord. Þá sem sagt braut hann súlur húsins. That is the reason we have to pray for the men of God. Það er ástæðan fyrir að við þurfum að byrja fyrir Guðs mönn. Whose people are completely departed from God. Þeir sem að eru að hafa sem sagt horfið frá Guði. If you know the name of the man of God. Það þú þekkir Guðs mann. If you know he departed, the Holy Spirit departed from him. Það þú veist að heila úr andi hefur við ekki frá hann. Just cry before the Lord. Þá skal þú gráta fram í fyrir. And ask the Lord. Og byttu drótt. Lord, we want that man of God again, Lord. Drótin, við viljum þennan mann að þú reisir hann upp. If man of God comes, Lord. If that man of God comes again. Og ef að þessi maður kemur aftur. He will break the pillars, Lord. Að þá mun hann brjóta stoppa. We know that, Lord. Við vitum það drótt. Please don't lose our man of God. Ekki, við skulum ekki missa Guðs menn og menn okkar. They are powerful men of God. Þeir eru mikli Guðs menn. Several times I cried before my God. Oft hef ég gráti frammi fyrir mínum Guði. I know many men of God in India. Ég þekki marga Guðsmenn í Indlandi. I know many men of God throughout the world. Ég þekki marga menn í um allan heim. They are completely slippery away the truth. Sem að hafa yfirgefið sannleikan. But in every time. En í sérhver skipti. Whenever I praying for the people, the man of God. 
I used to cry before my God. Lord, please give those men of God again, Lord. Don't depart them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. This is our work. That, that is the reason many, 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 many uh, uh, men of God fall in. Finally, they lost the Holy Spirit guidance. That is the reason many, many revivals failed. But I believe, I believe we are going to see a great revival in Keflavik. Praise the Lord. How many people are believing that? I believe in that. Praise the Lord. The great revival is going to come to this Keflavik. Our prayers never go away. We may, we may, we may go away, but our prayers never go away. And almost all 45 years back, my mama put his, her prayer seed in me. Almost 10 years back, my mom passed away. But I can say that I can tell that seed never passed away from me. Amen. The same way in Keflavik many people are praying. You prayed several times for, your, for this Keflavik. You may, be, you may be forgot. Those prayers. But God never forget those prayers. Definitely God will give answers for your prayers. I want to give you uh, 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 some references about the revivals in the Bible. In the Bible many revivals are there. Because I studied all these revivals. From uh, Old Testament and New Testament revivals are there. Please write down all these revivals. Revival under Jacob. Revival under Jacob. Book of Genesis. First Moses book. Where, chapter 35, 5, 1 to 15 verses. Verse 8 till 15. Revival under Jacob. Under Jacob. Oh, need not open your Bibles now. We, open Take this reference. Uh, bara niður staði. And at your house you can study this one. Og Revival under Moses. Under Moses. Number two, revival under Moses. Vakning, uh, i, i Mose. Exodus 32. Under Mose 32. One, two. Chapter 34 to 7. From 32 to 34. And number three, three revival under Samuel. Under Samuel. First Samuel, First Samuel spoke. seventh chapter, seventh chapter, one to thirteen. Verse eight to thirteen. Revival under Samuel. Under Samuel. Number four, revival under Eliza. Under Elia. First Kings. First book, all 18th chapter. Number five. Number five. Revival under Asa. Under Asa. Second Chronicles. Under Chronicle book, 14 to 16 chapters. Kapli, 16. 14, 15, 16 chapters. 14, 15, 16. And uh, revival under Joshapath. Second Chronicles, book, 20th chapter. Revival under Ezekiel. Uh, yeah. Not Ezekiel. Yeah. Revival under Ezekiel. Second Chronicles. Thirtieth chapter, one to nine. Verse eight till nine. 
Þrítugasti kafli, kafli 30. 31-9. 1-9. 1-9. Ok, fast. Revival under Joshua. Og vakning under Joshua. Yes. Önnu kronikbók 34, 1-33. Second Chronicles 34, 1-33. Joshua. Revival under the sons of Korah. Og vakning undir sonum Kóra. Psalms 85. Salmur 85. 1 to 13. Vers 1 til 13. Revival under Jerubabel. Og vakning undir Serubabel. Haggai, first chapter. Haggai, fyrsti kapli. Jakaria, first chapter, 1 to 6. Sakaria, 1 to 16. Sakaria til 1 til 6. Ég skal kópera þetta á eftir. Það geta. Serubabel. Serubabel. Jerubabel. Serubabel. Það er seta Serubabel. Ok. Revival under Jerubabel. Jerubabel. Serubabel. Please read, open your Bibles. Haggai, first chapter. Haggai, kapli 1. We can see that one. Og ég skal ljós setja þetta á eftir. Það er Haggai og Sakaria líka. Bæði Haggaria og Sakaria. Haggai, first chapter. Fyrsti kapituli. And Jekaria. Where is it? First chapter 1 to 6. Og Sakaria líka, fyrsti kapli. If you go to Jekaria. First chapter. Uh, one to six, yeah. Are you seeing that that version? There, the name Jerubabel is there. Okay. Yeah. Next revival under Ezra and Nehemiah. Vakning under Ezra and Nehemiah. Nehemiah eight. Nehemiah eight chapter. Nehemiah eight yeah. chapter. And revival under John the Baptist. Vakning under Johannes is Kirara. Revival under John the Baptist. Vakning under Johannes is Kirara. Yeah, Matthew's third chapter one to fourteen. Matthew's three eight to fourteen. And revival under Peter at Pentecost. Vakning hjá Pétri á kvítasundag. Book of Acts second chapter. Ostrasan tveir. One to forty-seven. Eight till fjörtjósjö. Revival under Peter at Pentecost. Vakning under Pietri á Kvítasunnu. Acts 2nd chapter 1 to 47. Ostrasan 2, 1 to 40. Revival under Philip at Samaria. Og hjá Filipusi í Samariu. Acts chapter, book of Acts 8th chapter 1 to 25. Ostrasan 8, 1 to 25. And revival under Peter at Caesarea. Og vakning Pietur í Caesariu. Book of Acts 10th chapter. Revival under Paul and Silas in Europe. Paul and Silas in Europe. Vakning thar. 1st Thessalonians. 1st Thessalonians. 1st chapter. 2nd to 10th verse. 3-10. Almost all I gave that arm 16 revivals in the Bible. 16 vakningar in the Bible. If you study these revivals, it will take some months, praise the Lord. This will be a very good time you can spend with the Lord. Not going any other books. <laughs> Not going uh, sitting with the TV and just wasting time. But you can you can see you can work most of the time about these verses. And finally the 17th revival. And put that name your name. And in Keflavik. <laughs> That is the 17th revival. That is number 17. If you if you read all these revivals, if you read to all these revivals, you meditate all these revivals. If you read all these revivals, your eye will open. I will tell you. Eyes will be opened. Months together, I I studied these revivals. Months together, I have studied these revivals. 
uh, with, uh, I completely close. I'm, I'm closing my eyes and I started telling about all these revivals. Such a way I spent time with the Lord with this, all these chapters. I seen such a power of the Lord. And I seen that how the Holy Spirit moved in that places, in those places. And how God and people and God and men of God are meeting together and sharing together. God willing, we will share maybe Sunday, maybe other day about how that what um, the relation between man and God. That the relation, how the relation will take a man up to a, such an extent place. God willing, we will discuss those things also. Uh, this is the way just we, uh, I, I shared about the revival. Og, uh, já, and uh, final, finally, I close the revival. Uh, uh, your name and revival in Keflavik. Þetta er eins og ég sé vakningu og sem sagt loka punkturinn, þú settu þitt og Keflavik. And uh, I gave the responsibility about the revival in Keflavik to you. Og ég gef ábyrðina yfir til þín. And I request you all. Og ég bið ykkur öll. Please pray for your city. We are, we are praying for your city. All my prayer warriors. Uh, first of all, in the beginning times when I tell the Keflavik name. And uh, they are they, very difficult to pronounce that name in their language. Because, but in their language I, uh, I wrote that name. And I tell come on by heart this name. Og ég sagði, that means every time just og bara biðið fyrir þessu sem Now they are easily spell that name Keflavík. Og nú sem sagt er auðvelt fyrir þá að bera fram Keflavík. All my, that more than 20 pastors they are praying for this Keflavík. Það eru meira en 20 pastorar sem biðja fyrir þessum stað Keflavík. I, I put the map and I showed that place. Ég sett ma, uh, þort hérna kortið á gólfið og I know one day uh, when a man of God he came and he laid his hands upon that uh, Iceland and he wept a lot and he cried and he wept. I seen the tears in his eyes. That the first time he saw them, uh, the, he heard the name and he saw the place and, and the map. I don't know how many times you wept for this, for this city. This city blessed you. This nation blessed you. And this nation provided a lot of things to you. This nation provided a lot of This nation bring you out in such a wonderful way. This nation gives wonderful citizenship in, for you. Þessi þjóð hefur gefið undursamlegan and the, the, this, through this nation you got the citizenship. Já. Wherever you go people will say Icelanders like that. Hvar sem þú ferð þá segir fólk já Ísland er þannig. Finally this Iceland is asking you I gave a lot of things to you. What you are doing for me. You know my position. All the, uh, the political leaders. They are supporting uh, antichrist uh, uh, theories. Sem að þeir styðja við svona antichrist theory. And I am completely created by God. Iceland is telling to you. I am created by God, but my leaders, they are ruling in a very different way. I need your prayers. The Iceland is asking. Iceland is weeping. Iceland is requesting you. How I am telling these words? Og 
Hvernig get ég sagt þetta? One day when I was praying for my nation. Dag nokkur þegar ég bað fyrir þjóð minni. And God told me. Og Guð sagði mér. Ask your nation. Spurðu þjóðina. You can talk to your nation. Þú getur tala við þjóðina. And your nation will talk to you. Og þjóðin mun tala við þig. I wondered. Ég hugsaði. Then I changed my thoughts. Og síðan skipti ég um, já, hugsun. And I started talking with my nation. Og ég byrjaði að tala við þjóð mína. Then the lot of things came out. Og þá koma alls konar hlutur. I seen all my nation started crying and weeping. Og ég sá að þjóð mín byrjaði að gráta. In the Bible I seen that word. Í Biblíunni hef ég séð þetta orð. Nations are crying. Þjóðirna gráta. This land is weeping. Landi grætur. This land weeping before you. Landi grætur fram fyrir þér. There is a reason once again I remember this land. After minnist ég þessa lands. The agony of this land, agony of this land. Sem sagt neyðinni í þessu landi. You were responsible to pray for your leaders, political leaders. Þú hefur ábyrð að byrja fyrir politiskum leitum. We know they are supporting antichrist thoughts. Við vitum að þeir í raun og veru Stiðja við andkristnar hugsanir. Please, let's talk to them about them. Tölum minna um þá. And pray more for them. Og byðjum meira fyrir þeim. That's our responsibility. Það er okkar ábyrð. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen.